We are in Luxor. We've arrived from Cairo. I arrived a couple of days ago and we did see the Valley of the Kings yesterday, but you're not allowed any cameras in the Valley of the Kings. No. Today we're going to <laughs> Hatshepsut Temple, or if you can't say that, then... Hot Chicken Soup. Yeah. That's how they uh, describe it They tell it you to, to say it as Hot Chicken Soup out here. So we're going to head in there. Um, yeah. And she was the... If allow cameras. Uh, Hatshepsut. She was the first female yeah. pharaoh. Mm -hmm. uh, this temple was built directly be behind where she's buried in the Valley of the Kings and um, very strategically placed. So, yeah, that's, yeah. that's about all and I know. It's huge. But go find out some more. some kind of plaster that they used so that they could etch in the hieroglyphs. <laughs> Clearly, that the plaster is what's come off and that's where the hieroglyphs were. You can see the front of the patch here. And I'm wondering if the reason that we're missing noses and things like that on almost every statue is because that was part of plaster that wasn't etched into stone. It would have been easier to mould it with plaster. Maybe. But I don't know. So what we've learned uh, by visiting all these places is that uh, it's, they used a lot of colour and paint in all of their temples and uh, statues and all sorts. So when you look at them now, they just look like, like stone coloured, but that actually wasn't the case. Uh, so if you look there, they painted loads of stuff, loads of stuff. So this would have been really colourful back in its, uh, when it was in its full glory. So as you can see here, some uh, colour has still survived on the main wall. So just kind of gives you an idea. The whole thing would be would be quite colourful. They paint all the hier hieroglyphs, all of the pictures. Yeah, look over here. So you've got carved out hieroglyphs there and then they've painted them on the other side. Very strange. And look at this huge granite entranceway. Look at the uh, yeah. paint on the ceiling. Yeah, again, you can see here how they paint everything. And the stars up on the ceiling, that's quite common. They do that everywhere. So, you see here, uh, like drilling something and if you look up there you can see the 
twists of the screw. So I think this is one of the methods they use to bore holes in the rocks. So they pull either side, that would spin round and drill down into the rock. So on this wall, the, the, um, the main layer of paint has come away, so you can see the underlayer. What they used to do was paint the whole thing white and then use a red like a brush, a really fine brush, and as you can see they'll do like the outlines. And then somebody else came along later to colour it in. Paint by numbers. We are at the Lossai Memnon, which are these two huge, huge statues. Uh, and what they were, they were originally like guards of um, a gate. The first gate was the temple. I think there were like three gates to get to the big temple, and this was the first one. The door of this gate was the same size as the statues. First gate, and you can see the second gate going to the temple with those two statues there. That yeah, look smaller. I think no, I think they're smaller. And then you can see the third, the third gate right in the distance. And this was like a huge road entranceway to some huge temple. Uh, there were walls either side, but I don't know where they've gone. They just disappeared. Uh, but there were a few earthquakes in the area that kind of ruined things. So. Maybe the walls came down in the earthquake, and then quite often when there's rocks lying around, the ancient Egyptians used to nick them and use them to build other stuff, so I imagine that's where they've gone.